Hi, my name is Lee Fogel. I'm the author of A Matter of Life and Breath. Uh, I've been a pulmonary fibrosis patient for a number of years and I've been able to uh, continue to be active in my life even though I've had advanced pulmonary uh, fibrosis with massive lung scarring and about 30% lung function by exercising and uh, uh, proper nutrition, proper sleep, breathing exercises, walking, those things have been able to help me to uh, achieve an active life and to uh, imp actually improve my lung function over time from the first CT scans and first PFT uh, pulmonary function tests. Today I'm going to be talking about the three exercises associated with a study that showed improvement in lung function for the people who participated in the study. There are three simple exercises. I've been asked to demonstrate the exercises, so I'm going to do that. One of the important things is when you stand, to do the exercises simply, and these can be done from a chair if you're not able to stand at this time, uh, but uh, is to square your feet up so that they're about uh, less than shoulder width apart and toes pointed slightly inward, uh, a good posture, uh, shoulders relaxed and back slightly with the pinched together shoulder blades. That's one of the best methods for preventing the IPF cough. For those of you who suffer with that cough, oftentimes it's the posture that leads to restriction of airflow and restriction of the bronchial tubes. Uh, certainly has helped me to eliminate the cough. So uh, the first exercise is simply to Upon breathing in deeply through the nose, we're going to raise our hands up and over our head. And by doing so, we'll expand these muscles that hold the ribs together and uh, our lip uh, will expand the volume of the lungs as a result of that. Okay, I've been able to improve the, my lung volume uh, by uh, about 50% uh, by doing these exercises consistently. I do them every day twice a day, morning and evening. Okay, the first exercise is like this. It is breathing in on the lift and breathing out on the down. So, That's the first exercise and I'll show it to you from the side so you can see the, uh, how the arms look on the side and the shoulders are back and down and it's okay second exercise is going to be working one side of the lung and the other side of the lung we'll do 10 on each side by the way the first exercise I do 20 repetitions of that start with Start with 10, you can do 10. Start with 10, move up to 20. I do 20 repetitions of the first exercise. The second exercise, I do 10 on each side, okay? And this one is just simply, you're collapsing uh, the lung area and volume on one side while you're stretching the other side. So it's like this. Good deep breath, so you're feeling that one lung. You're stretching, expanding your one lung at a time. <sighs> You'll hear things cracking sometimes when you do this. I'll do the other side now. Okay, that's. Exercise number two. Exercise number three is to put your hands, lace your fingers together, put them behind your neck. You're not gonna pull on your neck, okay? There's no pressure on your neck. Your arms are out like so. Shoulders down and back. And sort of a chicken wing thing here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna exhale and bend down, which collapses the upper chest. And then we're going to inhale deeply from the abdomen, from the belly, uh, on the up breath, on the in breath. And we're going to span, expand our upper lungs by stretching our elbows back like so. So it looks like this from the side. If 
from the front. As you do these, you want to feel a, uh, you start with the belly, so you're not breathing from the upper chest, you're breathing from the belly. So the belly blows out first, but you're, as you breathe in, you want to really feel that chest expansion in the upper chest, uh, like I've demonstrated. So that's enough for now. If you have questions, uh, my email address is in the show notes and uh, happy breathing. Hope this works well for you.